Turning now to the energy sector and a new bet from Warren Buffett, who's largely remained on the sidelines throughout this year's volatility. Brian Sullivan joins us with more on the CNBC Newsline. Hey, Brian. Hey, Will. Hi, Sarah. Yeah, I mean, it's a big deal. Kind of came out of nowhere. A lot of it had to do with the failure of the Atlantic Coast Pipeline, which Dominion Energy and Duke were going to co-build. That was about a uh, eight-plus year project that ended up in going nowhere. And so Dominion wants the cash. They're selling off their natural gas transmission and storage business to Buffett and Berkshire Hathaway Energy for $9.7 billion. You have $4 billion in enterprise value, guys, $5.7 billion in assumed debt. You can see Dominion shares. They're down big today. Why? Well, I talked to some people last night. They said, listen, the failure of the Atlantic Coast Pipeline is probably what they call a credit-negative event for the company. If not, it's close to it. There's, the Dominion wants to deleverage its balance sheet. So what do you do? You've got an asset that is expensive that is not in favor when it comes to investors, think ESG. And, oh, by the way, we've got a guy with $137 billion in cash sitting around who is known for fast deals and wants to expand the energy side of his empire. So that's what Warren and his team did. And this is really about Greg Abel. And if you don't know who that is, that is the head of Berkshire Hathaway Energy. He is the vice chairman of the non-insurance side of Berkshire Hathaway as well. And I think right now, Darren Wolf, fair to say, may have popped his head up as the most likely potential successor to a one Mr. Warren Buffett. Um, I, Brian, my question, uh, not so much about their succession plans, but uh, their level of conviction in the U.S. energy space. I mean, if they wanted to make an all-out bet on the uh, oil and gas industry in the U.S., are there other assets out there, bigger assets, uh, more, more shining assets that they could have gone for? Or is this kind of uh, as big a bet as you, you could possibly have hoped to see? There are, okay, so there are bigger bets. And so our great team, by the way, did a nice job. We'll point you to the wall, as we call it, at Inglewood Cliffs. Some of the biggest pipeline companies out there, you got Enterprise, you got Kinder Morgan, Williams, MPLX, which is Marathons, One Oak, Plains All-American, and a few others. And there's, by the way, well, about 75 more smaller ones. Some of them are literally like Wilfred Frost Pipeline Corporation, like one pipeline going somewhere. And then, of course, you've got these huge multi-billion dollar companies. I think this was a one-off. I talked to three people last night, Will, Sarah. There's, this is a one-off deal, I think, because Dominion, you have to look at the seller, not the buyer, okay? Dominion, their power, their clients, whatever you want to call them, power users in Virginia, they want renewable energy. So they're looking to build a huge wind farm off the coast, expensive as all get out. So they need to deleverage that balance sheet. What way to do it? Okay, get out of some of these natural gas, storage, sort of legacy-type businesses, big. Someone called them old, dangerous, certainly non-ESG, right, and also given up 25 percent of its liquefied natural gas facility in Cove Point, Maryland. They deliver the balance sheet, provide them some capital to build the wind farms because people are demanding renewables. Let's be clear. Warren Buffett's got a nice renewables portfolio, guys, but he's also got pipelines and railroads. And so I don't, I'm not sure Mr. Buffett – is that big on the ESG? He's willing to buy a pipeline and natural gas storage business. Mm -hmm. But I will say this. There was an article on CBC Pro very quickly. This could be a renewable car bet. Remember that Warren Buffett's invested in BYD, the battery maker for EVs, electric vehicles. You need power to charge your electric car. That four Teslas that you have at home, Will, you need to charge those up. Mm -hmm. and you need natural gas to do it, especially in the Northeast. Well, uh, there we go. I, I don't actually have any testers, though you were right to mention the Wilfred Frost Oil and Gas Corporation, which will make it onto your wall one day. It might be small at the moment, but uh, one Take day. me with you when you go, brother. Take uh, me with Brian you. Brian Sullivan, as always, thank you very much, uh, and good to see you.